Guten Morgen, Freunde. Welcome to my canvas. I want to keep some negative space today. Keep on splattering, blowing, mixing my methods. I put my pillow paint on. This is a big part of black in my pouring medium. I also have a glove stuck onto my container. It's been a few messy days. This is Macaw by This Little Piggy. It's a beautiful interference color. It um, looks white now, but it will start blinging in teal and gold. And this is, speaking of teal, Teal by Golden. And this one is Caribbean Blue by Fire Dots. I have a discount code if you want to try those out. And then some more of the macaw. This is Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And I'm getting boogers out. doing a bunch of these splatter blows and mixing it with swipes and um, I'm trying to relax a little bit try to explore this and try to figure out what attracts me to it I think it's important that you don't take yourself too seriously or the whole thing too seriously have intention behind it, but also stay loose and open to the things that are going to happen. Learn from your mistakes and that will lead you eventually to your own style. So I blew a little bit already. This is Gold Cell Activator, my fuzzy hair and a blow. A good splatter this time. Mmm, yum, yum. What I really love about this is the bubbles, and the big bubbles especially, that you create with the blowing, that pop eventually, and bring in this well, you'll see. It's... I love it. The more I'm doing these, I realize I do have to work on my pillow paint. I usually... I mean, I've always used a lot compared to what I actually need. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. With this, though, I'm realizing I kind of like my composition usually when I've spun a little bit but not too much. I know this does maybe not make sense but um, the more pillow paint you have, oh my god so many times I've said it <laughs> but I don't learn myself. The more pillow paint you put on the more you have to get off meaning tilting and spinning which means that your composition will expand. With those splatters, you don't necessarily want too much expansion. So in future, I will probably try to use less paint altogether. Um, but let's not talk about the future yet. <laughs> this is my try today. And yeah, mixing swipes with the blows, add some splatters. That is fun, that is interesting, and that is cool.
so the size of my composition right now is actually what I would prefer to be the end result but yeah the spinning so this is what I love doing with canvases shaking the paint up a little bit you can sometimes even get your finger right below a certain part where the paint got stuck maybe and you just tap on the back of the canvas to loosen it up a little bit um, well I'm loosening it up quite a lot <laughs> this is my cardboard border that I sometimes use when it's gonna be um, fairly messy because this is gonna spin a lot there's a lot of paint on there and see how much it opened up already and I still have to spin more see what I'm saying we love the pillow paint for what it does but also it's such a hassle So a question that I come across a lot is why do I even use house paint? And um, the answer is fairly easy. That's how I learned it. That's how the Shelly art is created. I have not come across a paint that is so stretchy and can hold the paint on top. You can probably use binders and mix it with acrylic paint and make your own base paint. But for what I want the base paint to do, the house paint actually is the best for what I know. If you have any ideas, leave it in the comments. I'm always curious to learn and maybe experiment a little bit with that. But this whole idea is so um, complicated in itself that just using a different brand of paint might not work as well. So here we have the close-up. Not sure about that middle white section there. But I love this part where the bubbles popped and the transparency oh my love transparencies maybe I should layer some blows over each other that might look cool I'm liking this piece um, but still I need to figure out my pillow paint situation or the amount of paint situation loving these cells and you can see the shimmer of the Macaw and the Caribbean blue. It's a pretty cool combo. Those look almost like bubbles on top. Super 3D. So that's it for today. Again, you witnessed a part of my journey. It's not always about getting the perfect painting. It's the doing and learning and developing that's what makes an artist. If you want to learn this thing from me, come to Seattle in April, end of April, Seattle, the Fluid Art Experience. Link is in the description, probably in the video. I would love to see you. Until then, be good. Bye-bye.